are now recording. And the stupid part is, wait, can you pause? Can't fucking pause. Do this as fast as possible. We're doing a speed run. Hold on. Okay, so it's 12.22 right now. See how fast we can do this. What do you guys think? I don't know. Maybe more centered? Let's go with it for this video. Grab a drink. Grab a snack. Emperor Legend, or the homie Zach, is back. Welcome back to another video on my second channel. This one going to be being about a topic that I was going to do back in the day. Kind of like a story time video, but not necessarily. Um, and I will be putting like background gameplay so you guys have something to watch um, when there's like a black screen. But yeah, um, back in 2016, I don't even got no script or anything. I just, I just, just how I do like most of my videos sometimes. Anyway, back in about... 2015 is uh this is my <laughs> this was my inspiration back then and motivation to do like gaming and stuff and my own clan and all that phase clan and it was kind of already like like a thing it was it was just something that was like yo this is cool i really want to try this out for myself and i've tried like several times it didn't go well most of the time and a year after um i met one of my old buddies and me and him just started hanging out again and i got him into call of duty and youtube and that's the beginning of the origins clan one of my uh best accomplishments and worst accomplishments uh for their own reasons but that is for so at that time i got a playstation 3 and i was playing call of duty and i decided you know to get a clan and get a whole team up and going and we recruited some members and stuff um and somewhere in that year i decided everything was going good we were going to join esports it was about to be extremely insane but we were not old enough at the time most likely because we shouldn't have been playing call of duty but we were and we we're just well at least i was like the insane player of the team slash leader and the other one the second uh leader of the clan he was also like he was beginning he was he was kind of just beginning but he started uh to do some good uh clips and stuff because i taught him some of my tips and tricks that he most likely still uses now and still uses those uh, stuff I taught him that I've never told anybody, maybe uh, Jake Paul Jr. Orange, but other than that, I've never told anybody uh, any of those tips and tricks except um, had them myself and that I still use them this day. And you can, if you are really, really interested somehow, or if you want to get an advantage and stream snipe me, just go uh, look on any of my streams or my videos and you can waste your time doing that unless you just want to see uh, kind of what I'm talking about um, and I'll actually drop one of the tips right here um, instead of reloading if you insta swap as soon as the clip that you're reloading uh, make sure you look in the right bottom as you're reloading and if like you're getting in a battle that's why I said if you have time if you get in a gunfight not a battle but a gun battle I guess too you could say <laughs> If you look in the right bottom of the screen, um, make sure as soon as you see that it's reloaded as fast as you can, insta swap, double YY, double triangle. Just press that triangle twice as fast as you can, or the um, Y, Y. I've only heard of like double YY. I'm not, I haven't been like a big xbox player i just kind of started on playstation and uh that's that's pretty much what i'm still doing today but i do have an xbox and i do have some games for it i don't know if i'll be doing xbox anytime soon but i found it again by the way and it is it is kind of in the legendary armory but i don't know if we'll be doing anything with that but anyways yeah so that's one of my tips and that is a that's one of my best tips by the way and that's one of my best tips, by the way, and it's um, 
one of them that I found. So enjoy your Call of Duty and any other games that have that possible. Maybe like Splitgate. I don't think Splitgate does that. You'll fight Call of Duty and any other games that have like the FPS um, like that. Maybe Apex Legends. I don't exactly know. Honestly, I don't really do it a lot in Apex. I don't think you can. There's no fast hands in that, so I don't know. The Around 2016 or 2017, um, an idea came up that I came up with, and I was like, well, if we're going to be doing this, I'm going to fund it and put my all my money into it for gaming setups, get everybody gaming subs, get everybody moved in and everything there. When moved in, as in I came up with the idea of getting a house a gaming house and it's going to be exactly what you imagine it to be or exactly what you think it is it's going to be it was inspired by like the phase house when they got their own house i was like that is just that's that's kind of like living the dream you getting money from playing video games you're living with all your friends playing video games that's all you that's all you really do you know, you still do stuff, and honestly, I think the best, absolute best, yeah, the Phase House was good, but my favorite, uh, like, content that came from a gaming house that's ever been on YouTube that I've seen is the Red House, and I still go back to those videos to this day, and I'm glad that the actual Nordavind, or whatever owns them, the Red House, or the Red Label, or whatever now, is now doing, uh, you know their own thing but they still have those videos up and i uh you know kudos to them for that I, I don't think they'll watch this video but if they ever do kudos to y'all because i appreciate having uh s some of the best content on youtube still up uh to this day that was also a really big inspiration i don't think i started watching them though until i believe 2017 or 2018 um Either way, it was around that time, and it was just, it just really got me into wanting to do that. Of course, it's been six years, six to seven years, and it hasn't even happened. So, yeah, that's the best. But, I mean, you never know. Maybe one day there will be a chance where we could probably do that, but I don't know if that will even happen. Um, I did recently was going to do that. Uh, for the prestigious house, the prestigious empire clan, and uh, that also never happened because some of the people in it aren't really, uh, I, don't, I don't know with them, but uh, yeah, we're just going to get off that topic, and we're going to continue with the video. One of the videos I saw that were uploaded at that time, actually way before that time, I don't even know if this is a video. Okay, this is not what I was thinking of. I almost printed the screen. This is cool. This is this is this is this is the coolest. Here it is. Okay. It wasn't called player profile. It was uh Life of Phase COD Pro House. This is the exact video. Okay. This is exactly what I was looking for. I was in the middle of editing the blogs. Why do you like that? This is the video that I was talking about. I really hope I didn't get copyrighted, so we're gonna go to just certain parts of the video. Dylan Attach Price. My name is James Clayser Eubanks, and we are Phase Clan. Getting pissed at Infinite Warfare, I fucking feel that. Two to three series every single night. Uh, we all get on around six o'clock and then play from six until one a.m. every single night. Sometimes even later, and just repeat that cycle every day. Like we said, no. Seven fucking hours. They play for seven hours, so they're like dedicated, but like uh, on the freaking next level after that. Like they they were not playing. But that's that's dedication. That's that's what was the best of Face Clan. Now they're just fucking Fortnites, and that's that's honestly why I just became an extremely uninterested and just I just didn't care what Phase does. As soon as they became like a Fortnite thing, I just stopped caring because they went from Call of Duty to that, like. 
What the? Yeah, I'm going through a hole. I got one, I got one, I got one. No one on the tank. On the tank on me. Yuli. He might. We got some pancakes. I remember those days. I remember those days in um, just such good days. Nowadays, it's just being a solo player, the life of a solo player. And I love it, but also I sometimes hate it because it just brings me back to a certain time when, like, it wasn't even that things were simpler. It was just that it, it, it was just, you know, having people to play with. You know, having friends and just going on every game and not, you know, having a whole fucking CGS argument in every fucking game or talking shit. It's just straight having fun. And then this is also what we, we this would have been a lot of fun to do at, uh, if we had a game now. Cakes, we were going to make some French toast, but we had no more eggs. And we were going to make some eggs, but we had no eggs. We only had two eggs. So we made some pancakes, and that's about it. I made some egg whites for myself because I'm on the healthy kick, but everybody else in the house... Wants some pancakes, baby. Look at that. Sipping on some G Fuel <laughs> during this video, too. Uh, some radioactive lemonade, limited edition. First time trying it. And it is. I don't even have, like, my own video on it. Uh, it's in the vlog. And I'm just going to say this the No Way Home flavor, it is, it is really good. Radioactive lemonade is really good. I have it mixed in with some uh, Mountain Dew Game Fuel uh, cherry. And it is a it is a good flavor for sure. That was some chef shit right there. See, ready? See if I can do it again. Oh, one more. Can we go for the three in a row? No, man, I choked. My favorite part about leaving the house is just having people around. I grew up my entire life I was an only child, so a lot of the times, and both of my parents worked jobs, so a lot of the times I had nothing to do. I found myself very bored. Kind of one of the reasons why I got into Call of Duty and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time. You can get a little, a little bit lonely when you're an only child, so having someone to talk to or just kind of hang out with at all times is pretty dope. And then, I mean, seeing like their progress as like a team and stuff is also pretty cool. Thanks, Chris. Love you, bro. Even though we're out of syrup, kind of. Dude, we're out of everything. We were out of eggs, we were out of milk. <laughs> Bunch of animals in this house. See, and this is one of my, this is one of my favorite things, just like, I think I went over the copyright freaking limit, and hopefully I'm, I'll uh, I'll just reverse the video. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna do. So, cause I'm, honestly, I just wanted to to have this topic as a video and talk about this because this is one of the things I actually wanted to talk about, and I was actually, and I was like really, really wanted to do, and it just it just never happened, um, and a lot has happened since then, and now it's just see where everything goes and you know hope for the best and, and i'm not gonna play the whole video um i'm just gonna like i just wanted to show you guys just like how fun that life would be and being not just in a clan but having a whole house with all your friends in that team uh clan and just stuff like that it, it's just it's cool but that's gonna do it for this video i hope you all enjoyed make sure to leave a like comment subscribe thank you all for coming to this video and if you want to see more videos or if you have any comments or if you want to ask about anything um or ask about just pretty much anything um i hope you all have a legendary day take care love y'all and i will see you guys in the next live stream or video or anything of the sort peace out